Welcome to the Crazy Time Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT. And I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. All right, TNT. Yo. So, we both enjoy going to the movies. I like movies. Yeah. So, um, what are some of your biggest pet peeves about, like, when you're in the theater? Like, things oh. that, like, that, this, I mean, there's, there, I, I have, there's a point to this. So, but I feel free to speak clearly. Oh. Okay. So, look. I hate everything. I hate it when people bring kids to the movies. Great like, point. Let me talk about that for a second, and well, then we'll expand. Well, okay, okay, fine, fine. Go ahead. So I showed up to a movie. Yeah. Last weekend, I went to a late show. Yeah. And I, it was a ten thirty-five showing, and I'm like, "This is great because no one's ever in the theater for that." <laughs> so I go there, <laughs> and it, I mean, Inside Out two came out. Recently, is that what you went to go see? No, but there. So it's so it's a kids movie. Yeah. So I go there. I thought you went to go see Inside Out. Too. No, I didn't. That'd be hilarious. That. Like I got Inside Out too. There's a bunch of kids in the theater. Yeah. I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, what the hell? Ten thirty? <laughs> no, I like. I, I'm just not. In, I'm just not into animated movies. I'm sure it's a cute movie. Yeah. Um, I walk in and there is like ten kids in the in the concession stand area with like two parents. And I'm like, okay. I'm like, I, I know they're not going to see what I'm going to see. But here, here's where I get a little like, what the hell is happening? <laughs> I'm trying to figure it out because so far we're all in a public setting. So yeah, let's so, go. So let's they're in go. their pajamas, which I'm like, okay, I get it, I guess. Okay. They all have tablets with them. Like all the kids oh. have tablets Oh, okay. In pajamas. This is where I thought it was going. In in the concession stand area. And I'm like, why the fuck are you bringing a kid to the movies with a tablet for? So, like, they weren't in my theater, cause, but whatever. But, like, what, is, what the hell is, what is happening? Like, why would, why would that be a thing? Oh, see, I feel like that's a very isolated incident. And that's clearly a parenting choice. And if that parent were to ever, I don't know, hear the podcast, I think they would know exactly who they were. Wait a minute. I got a bunch of kids who got a bunch of tablets who go to Wouldn't see movies. Wouldn't it be movie. crazy if the, the parents down the road listen to this? It would be. Hey, leave your goddamn kids at home or find a babysitter. Jesus, man. Look, I, I, I don't know. Look, I'll tell you like this, man. If it keeps your kids sh shutting the fuck up, then do it. Yeah, but the whole point okay? is you can't have phones, so you bring a big ass tablet. And they're going to see Inside Out too. It's it's going to be a zoo in there anyway. At ten thirty, bruh, that's how you get them to fall asleep. So you take them to a movie so they fall asleep. Right? That's why they're in their pajamas. I'm not a parent. And I get the, I get the whole science behind that. Is how many kids was it? It was like 10. Yeah, exactly. You get 10 kids in their pajamas and you give 10 kids tablets and you take they 10, 10 kids 10 tickets. Take 10 kids to a movie that they want to see and let them fall asleep so that you can have 5 minutes of peace. So you pay $120 to have them bring their own tablet to the theater so they can fall asleep and you can watch a kids movie you don't you, care you about. You can tell those guys never had kids. Parents Parents, I, uh, parents, parents I in the chat, please. Can you used tell this to guy? have kids. Can you tell this guy? <laughs> Put in the comments. You, uh, you ain't no parents listening you've to this had, podcast. You've been, you've been a parent to teenagers, to like adolescents, not toddlers. And I'm assuming that these were younger kids because you ain't taking a 16 year old to go see Inside Out two with a tablet. I don't know and, what and well, I don't know what movie they were seeing. That was me assuming. I mean, you were probably right. I this mean, every other movie playing at 10:30 wasn't. Yeah. Why for, they got a 10:30 show of Inside Out two anyways? For parents who want to go and not who see. have 10 kids <laughs> <laughs> and need the muff to shut up. <laughs> All right. Take your but tablet. But is that better during the day? You want them to shut up during the day? No. During the day, they never watch the movie. And then during the day, you just be chasing them around the theater. This guy, you, I swear, man, it's like you have no, you are parent shaming right now is what you're doing. Yeah. 
Literally parent shame. Oh, I'll shame them in person too. They, if they were going to go and see what movie were you going to see? Just tell uh, tell the class. Tell the class what movie you were going to see. Uh, bike riders. Okay, the bike riders. Excellent movie too. You're gonna cry if you go and see it. I will say, very good movie. Probably like the fourth best movie I've seen this year. Um, if what, they what had, if those, what an odd comment. That's the fourth best movie I've seen this well, year. It's not Dune and it's not uh, Furiosa. So I don't know. It's it's on a long list right now. All right. But either way, if those kids had shown up into the bike riders they, if, with their oh, with, with their tablets, I'm already mad. Then I would be like, you have a story to tell. But for those kids to be going to a kid movie where they're going to be other kids doing the exact same ish, bro, let that ecosystem be of be in its own nature. All right, that's its own ecosystem. Everything's in a state of him. If they would have showed up into the homeostasis, bike riders, I would have been like, exactly. Oof. <laughs> you would have been like oof. I, All right. I would have been. I would have had a strongly worded letter for the manager. That's a good. Reaction. And they and my popcorn was two inches below the rim. That too, some that was, bitch. That's definitely a problem. It was cold in there. That's a problem. God that's damn! I brought my coat though. Yeah. yeah. God damn it! I need some earplugs. I don't know. I'm just trying to sound old now. Just trying to say, oh, they put they put too much ice in my drink. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, the guy behind me was talking on a cell phone the whole. But yeah, time. if those kids showed up in your movie, I would have been like, "Yeah, that's a problem." But if, if the fact they're going into their own dude, that's like complaining about like why do great, why are gators always wet? I don't look, man. <laughs> I'm not in the Florida Everglades. All right, <laughs> I'm I'm in Austin. All right? What's it matter to you? Yeah, I don't. I don't. I can't care. What else do I hate in the movie theater, Jonas? The one of the worst experiences I will tell you that I've had is when people are talking, obviously. But there was one time I went to go see a movie. A dude, Buddy fell asleep in the movie theater, like two rows behind me. Buddy was snoring so loud. <laughs> and he was with other people. He, and like, nobody like nudged him to be like, yo, you got a responsibility if you're with your people to bring them in line. Right? I would say at least if you're snoring. Yeah, and like you're with your wife and your kids because he was with his wife and I'm assuming it's like his older daughter or something. Either way, it don't matter. Give him, give Buddy the maybe, arm. Maybe he was warned to never wake him up if he fell asleep in the theater again because remember what happened last time? No, what happened last time? Good. Yeah, it's a whole other podcast. Is this the Drake getting peed on story? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> you don't know about that? Excuse me? You don't know Hold about on. that? No, I don't. You don't know about that one? No, I guess not. You have to look that one up for yourself. <laughs> I'm fine with not looking that Drake one up. Peed Just movie. hearing about it. I'm like, oh, okay. I don't want to yeah, see that. Let's look it up. Drake getting peed on in a movie theater. You'll find it. You'll Pete find it. In a movie theater? I look, I, hey, look we don't wanna, you don't want to know. I don't want to know. See, you said you don't want to know, so I'm not going to tell it. That, I, now, wait. You look it up for yourself. Look okay, it up I'm for yourself. That's for people at home. They can go ahead and get that tidbit out there. Yeah. Well, how about you? Was it the guy who wrote his raps that he didn't pay for him? I don't think so. Oh, okay. But how about you, Jones? What's your most, what's the most hated thing? Your mo your pe biggest pet peeve for the movie theater? Oh, just price? I hate the <laughs> price of the tip. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> it sounds like some shit you would say. I, I don't know. I don't yeah. like how expensive the tickets are. Yeah, I gotta the pay. Seats extra. are uncomfortable. Yeah, I, I don't like the leather seats. Um, no, my the most the, the thing that I hate the most is like the talking or the people who are just like getting up and down constantly through the whole mm. movie. Like we went and saw something, and there were some teenagers, and they got up and down like thirty times, They'd be in and out like three <laughs> yeah. or four of them at a time. Like, yeah. like what the are you doing and then like left halfway through the movie yeah man that yeah. that bought that oh that's that irks my anything that's like a distraction because like the, I, I look i i get it man like you want to go to the movie theater and it, you want it to be a communal thing especially with like your friend or your girl or whatever i just want to go there and watch the movie fam i don't want to hear your conversations and i've I, look i'm black and i've never been that black guy to talk during a movie all right is that a thing uh, apparently I've never heard that. I okay, yeah, fuck I you. haven't. <laughs> That's a stereotype. I'm not gonna get into this. I don't see color shit, but so far, my dude. Wait, wait. There, is there <laughs> what a, you wait, wait. So far, I think right? everybody talks through movies, not just black dudes. You're trying to, you start to sound like the, the Tractor Supply Company <laughs> over here. Right? A, wait, no. I'm be, I'm being dead serious about this. That's a stereotype that black guys talk during movies. <laughs> 
Hold on. Is that, is that really a thing? the next one, man. <laughs> 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 nice. All right. That's all the time we have today's episode. Go to the crazy <laughs> <time back. laughs> um, For Jonas. See you too. Oh, we out. <laughs>